Hello Art12, welcome to your short, kind of mid-length, messy-ish hair. Um, this is the photograph I'm going to be using, um, so you can see some shorter and then a little bit longer on top. Um, but in the Google Classroom, there is this note sheet, and it takes you through the steps of hair. And so um, the first thing it tells you, if you have a detailed contour outline, do the background first. The hair will overlap. So for this one, because he has a lot of like little hair sticking out, um, or uh, for this one, she definitely had hair kind of sticking out over here. So I would recommend doing the background first. So watch that video, and then you can do um, the hair. Um, or like for sure, her hair like overlapping here, I would definitely do the background first, and then do the hair on top. But for his, where the contour outline is not super detailed, you could do the hair first and then the background. So it kind of depends on how your hair is. All right, so the first step is on padding. And you wanna make sure you have length and guidelines because we're still gonna apply um, the first layer with length and guidelines. And we're going to do an underlayer of um, 6B if your hair is darker. If your hair is lighter, you could do an underlayer with a wooden pencil. Or if you have a lot of highlight showing, you might want to just do an underlayer with wooden pencil. So I'm kind of like paying attention to length and direction a little bit. Using the side of the graphite to just lay it on there. And I'm looking at like where is it dark as well. I'm trying not to lose. So I'm kind of going in between some strands. I'm trying not to lose my drawing of the length and direction guidelines. And this is just to make the layering process go easier for you. So I'm paying attention to where the darkest parts are, kind of in between the strands of hair. Here I probably wouldn't do a lot because the hair is overlapping the skin. So the skin would have already been done if this were your drawing. Okay, I feel like that's good enough. All right, then with a bigger blender, I'm gonna kind of just gray down in the direction. Okay, then I'm going to use a, uh, the medium blender to kind of just get a little closer to the edge. A little bit more on the ends. All right, then um, the rest is gonna happen off padding. So off padding, something under my hand to cover all the shading I just did. Now I'm gonna start in in the darkest parts. And so length and direction is very important. You want your picture to be next to you. Even if you have straight hair, not every single strand goes the same direction. So I'm kind of putting back in, I have like this chunk here. I'm gonna put that back in. I'm going to outline it a little bit um, so I can avoid it. So you're going to hop around a little bit. And the bigger chunks that are kind of sticking out, you can add those. And so I usually like kind of um, try to make my marks like you know, all kind of going the same direction, about the same length, but you want to kind of hop around. So I usually start and kind of pull down and then start up at the top and do it like another layer because naturally your hand wants to do this. It wants to make tally marks. It wants to organize your lines. 
but obviously hair is not organized. So you're going to force yourself um, to make it look a little more random. And the, the, the actual detail of the edges, I'm gonna get that with mechanical pencil in the last layer. So I'm not gonna be so concerned, I'm just gonna do the bigger chunks. Okay, so it looks like hair is kind of coming down this way. And so you're doing kind of mid-length, like, sweeping motions, following the direction of the line. So very similar to adding the wood in the still life. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in and fill in a little. And I'm looking for my darkest parts, and I'm going to do another layer in the darkest parts. And I'm not doing the sweeping, like the big chunk sweeping over it just yet, not in this first layer. So the first layer is the most important layer. If you get a really good first layer, it makes all your other layers go much faster. So for this hair, I would say like four layers. Um, actually, let me do the top. I was gonna blend, but um, we'll just blend it all at once. All right, so now you need to really pay attention. So your hair can either make or break your drawing. It can either look really good or a little weird. <laughs> and so, especially if you're like, oh, my self portrait's going so well. Take your time, do it right. Make it look like your hair. Sorry, I'm putting back in some of these pieces that I lost. I can still kind of see the lines a little bit. Those are my lighter pieces, my lighter chunks. Okay, so then, then I kind of go in between them. I'm looking for the darkest values. I'm going to put those in first. Again, I'm not trying to perfect this here. Actually, that came down a little bit too low. So I should have waited for that part. But I do want, like, so this kind of, this part kind of comes down. Okay, so now these overlapping pieces. So I'm not gonna do the extreme overlap just yet, but I would probably add like a thin layer in the under, under there. And you don't have to do all of them, you just wanna look at the major chunks. blend over those. Okay, coming back into the middle. I'm putting in my darkest values. Going up into those areas. So for this one, because he has a lot of highlights right in here, um, it's going to be particularly important to pay attention to that when erasing out the highlights. So I'm trying to just go around it a little bit, but um, just knowing ahead of time that you're going to have to pay attention to highlights. So I don't want to get it too dark because I don't want to cover 
all the little areas. And then the hairs up top, I would do that with mechanical at the end. Okay, so then with Big Blender, you're going to blend in the direction that the hair goes. Kind of like longer sweeping kind of motions. I'm not going to touch over those overlapping hairs with the Big Blender. I would do it with a medium. But you're really just trying to get the depth and dimension in the hair. Okay, medium blender. I'm going to be a little more cautious about my edges. Okay, then I would kind of go over those swooping kind of pieces. Actually, I probably won't really touch, well, maybe a little bit with mechanical pencil. I was thinking I wouldn't really touch those again. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, so then the erasing part's particularly important. You can use a mechanical pencil eraser, or you can use, um, if you have a good pink eraser still, you can use that. Um, I would say these strands are pretty small, so I'm actually going to go with mechanical, and I'm going to start over here wherever I see some touches of highlights. So he doesn't have very many over here. But some kind of go with that piece overlapping. And so again, sweeping motion. And you can clean off these uh, erasers. I just kind of like newspaper, just kind of wipe it off on something. They like pick up graphite and then they tend not to erase anymore. Okay. <laughs> All right, paying attention to the. So let me see if this eraser is going to do a little bit better. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, I'm going to stick with this eraser. Like it erases more easily. If you don't have this eraser, obviously mechanical. I like the top of his hair a little bit. So spend a chunk of time, especially if you can see your highlights really well, because that's what's going to make the layered effect. And for this layer, it kind of really gives us a little more direction as to like where we need to add in the darks again. doing a little more gently at the top so it looks like there's more kind of strands. Okay, I'll do a couple of the, like this needs to get a little motion. And I'm just going to draw this hair up a little bit. It's rounding around his face. Um, erase out a little bit of the bigger chunks underneath. Okay, so then um, I'm going to go back 
Uh, actually, I'll probably do another layer of 6B. But I'm being, going to be pretty precise where I'm putting it because I'm going to go back with a layer of uh, mechanical. All right, so I'm putting this in the darkest parts, and I'm going to really avoid like where I erased out. Maybe like a couple where I erased out the highlights a little. Okay. So I am not being gentle. And I'm getting a little closer to the edge, like starting to kind of pay attention to what the edges of the hair look like. So we just don't want the hair to look striped, which we're going to get rid of the, the stripiness um, with a mechanical pencil. Touch blend. Um, I'm gonna be careful. Not very hard with this bigger blender. I really don't want to go over my highlight parts. I want to kind of keep those because we'll do one more round. Okay, mechanical pencil. So now's the refining. I'm not gonna refine the whole thing for you, but just know that you would do this everywhere. Um, so where it's shorter, obviously I'm going to do some shorter pieces. And this you probably would not blend. So this is when you're going to get like the layers of hair overlapping your background. Be a little more precise with it. Kind of refine the edge, you know, along your face, etc. Okay, so where it's longer, this is more of where I'm going to focus, then you're going to pay more attention because it's shorter kind of sweeping lines and then those ones that kind of tuck, usually the ones that tuck underneath I would do first and then go back and do the ones that overlap it on top. So in the highlight part, I'm going to add just a couple little lines um, to make it look like streaks of or chunks of hair. Following some of those highlights and strands. For this, I would gently kind of blend over this area probably once. And then I would go back and I would erase out again. So do a whole layer of mechanical, erase out highlights again, and then gently kind of go back and add hair um, a little bit on top of the highlights. And I'd add another layer in the darkest parts. So do the, all of that over the whole head. So I do another layer of mechanical, blend slightly, erase, another layer of mechanical. And that's when you would do more of like the pieces coming up and over and kind of really looking at how the hair lays on top of each other. Okay, good luck.